Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 20th episode of Love Hina. So, in the last episode, Kitaro, we found out just how similar he looks to the prince of Sue's country, uh, who had come by and many people were confused because they thought he was Kitaro, then they realized how awesome he was and realized, no, that couldn't possibly be Kitaro. And they were right, he wasn't. He came by because he wanted to marry Sue, Sue didn't really want to marry him. That's kind of what the big conflict was, and eventually, yeah, she did not end up getting married, I don't think. But uh, also, he tried to switch places with Kitaro because he wanted to stay in Japan longer. I I couldn't blame the guy. But yeah, eventually I, I, they're, they're probably gonna they're probably gonna switch back soon enough. It, it'll probably already be switched back by the time they start this episode up. So anyway, let's do that. Three, two, one. Play. You know, this really is one of the most memorable opening songs in anime. Like, if I was taking an anime music quiz, and they just played this song to me and said, What anime is this from? I'd be like, Love Hina. Like, easily. It's, it's that distinct. Like, one of, those, one of those anime songs that you hear it and it just starts playing the visuals in your head. Maybe that's just me, but that's the impression it gives me. Pug. I still don't fully understand that one part, with Mutsumi and Naru back to back spinning like that. It just, it really stands out in the opening. And just because it's relevant to my interests, but... Those two don't really interact all that much in the series itself. Otherwise it would make sense. Oh, are we gonna get into the? Are we gonna get into Kate Taro Charlotte friend situation? Because they're bringing the subject up. <laughs> That's cute. A sepia colored promise with a sleeping girl. A trick. A Sakura trick. Moe. <laughs> wow. Is it horrible? Oh, no, that's... Oh yeah, I forgot, she is smart, isn't she? She just failed because of silly reasons. Yeah, it's it's because she's a class, not because she's stupid. Well... Maybe you should have someone go with you to help. Yeah, don't be silly, Tama. Ghost? Oh, no, it's, it's them. That was my second guess. They're on an adventure, I guess. I like how she just crawled over there on all four. Yeah, but we live in an age with Google Maps, so... Less useful. I know they don't, but... Uh... How many... People are going to fit in that drawer. I love the chibi forms, though. Well... But... Oh, gosh. Yeah. Just look into the light, Kitaro. So it is Mutsume. That's good, because if it was not the punch probably would have been harder. <laughs> uh, I guess you've been here before. Apparently, Kitaro has as well. So maybe somewhere they went together as childhood friends in the past. 
Well, I know one dark place Guitar I probably would have wanted to go deeper into. It, I mean, if the door is labeled Moa, you have to go into it. There's no arguing. You need to. You need to. Although that's more scary than Moe, but I'm sure once you take it off, it'll be more Moe. See, I told you. You do need to clean that up a bit. I assume that's... I assume k is supposed to be Keitaro. I think that's a safe... Yeah, it just moved. It just moved. <laughs> it's not what it looks like, guys. You totally started this. <laughs> okay, it's still a little bit scary. <laughs> I bet. Wow. That's really advanced doll. I want one. He's not going to tell me that the doll is what he made the childhood friend promise to, is he? I mean, that'd be a bit Deus Ex Machina-ish. Do you? Not quite like this. Himself, clearly he's talking to that wonderful doll. <laughs> okay, maybe he is talking to himself. Oh, her name's actually Moa. That's why they didn't, they didn't translate it. <laughs> Good. That's a great name. Oh. A difference. Ah, okay. I got you now. Yeah, it's Keitaro and the doll. And a girl. An old picture. What's me? No, just no. Uh. It wasn't much of a pun in the translation, but it was a little bit better. In Okay, apparently she's getting along with the doll. Yeah, I'm sure that's the- that's definitely the takeaway from that. Shinobu doesn't get enough lines. <laughs> so, so that's a bit more likely. Ah, uh, that was impressive. It seems fine to me. Of course, that's where your mind goes. No, it's Skumagami is an item that, after a long time, it gains, like, its own life, basically. Yeah. I might as well just let her explain it. But yeah, basically a yokai. <laughs> Gotta show that salt. Ah! That sound really actually freaked me out a little bit. 
I didn't know how people are making noise in the other room as it happened too. Oh, that makes sense. Should kill him? <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. No, thank you. We're good here. <laughs> I dare you almost forget the doll. Keisuke. Yeah, Kei-kun apparently meant it was referring to Keisuke, not Keitaro. That's a... that was an understandable mistake on my part. <laughs> wow, that happiness difference. Well, it's a bit awkward. No, I don't think the doll is dangerous. Mo is... Mo is cool. Went to that watermelon. And I went into this episode hungry, so that didn't help. Well, I'm sure he can fix that. Just give her to Sue. Please, please show me in detail. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a different person. It is a really cute doll, though. Like, considering how old it is, it's really cute. Our halfway mark. I may have misread Flunk as something else. Maybe. What is it, though? <laughs> of course, it's what matters here. Our resident exorcism experts. I just want to pick up the doll and like upsee is with it. Upsee, upsee. I want to do that. Is it weird that I think one of the cutest girls in the show is the doll? I mean, she's clearly designed to be Moa, so it makes sense, but. <laughs> uh. You know, if nobody else wants that doll, I'll take it. I'll even pay you for it. Uh, you're not... I was gonna say you're not performing a surgery, but then it kind of told me otherwise. But still, it's technically not surgery, because it's not a human, but... You... Let's, uh, let's get to work. We're going full clockwork planet now. Very old design. Plot and justice, and justice and plot over there. Lean over a little bit more, Naruto. Just, just so you can, just so you can get a better look. Not me, of course. I wasn't paying that much attention, but was that music playing a variation of the opening? Watch too much medical shows. But anyway, how did it go? She has dead eyes, but that's that's understandable for a doll. Oh, I see legs moving. Are you, is she gonna get up and walk? Please walk over to Kitaro and give him a hug. I think that'd be adorable. Or just skip him and go straight to me. That's fine, too. That might be more difficult, though. It's... <laughs> Really is like a child learning to walk. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's no fair. I want to do that. Don't tell me she can't talk anymore now that she's fixed. That that's a little bit sad if that's the case. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> uh, so that's what the look was about. But she hasn't said anything since she was fake, which is why I'm worried. Hopefully I'm worried over nothing. That shitty thing grin looks just that wouldn't trust it. Yeah, you stay away from my Moe. <laughs> you stay away from my Moe. You, you also stay away from my Moe. I already told you to stay away from my Moe Motoko to make me repeat myself. Wow. Okay, good. Jabu, how are you going to interact with Moe? <laughs> we found somebody smaller than Shinobu. Uh, it's a miracle, guys. Why wouldn't it be? What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> uh, sorry, it looks a bit awkward. It's okay. It's, you're a part of the family. Okay, so she can still hear her, but I can't. <laughs> I would like to be able to hear her too. Don't leave me out, please. <laughs> it's uh, why wouldn't you? It's fun. I love to play House of the Mutsume and <laughs> Moe. Wow, that's quite a backstory. <laughs> they are legitimately playing house, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, because she was the one that said it. <laughs> Sounds about right. I was thinking the same thing, but I doubt it the more I thought about it. But I'm glad I'm not the one that was thinking that. Even though I dismissed the idea pretty quickly. <laughs> now I see her speaking, sort of. Well, you do, so... <laughs> This is where we've come. Yeah, she can. You can tell she believes you. Yep, wasn't that long ago. Oh no, Pete really does look like Hitaro. How could anyone forget about Moe? That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, that's, I guess, when he first saw her. And then he forgot about me next. Uh, but hey, he eventually came back and fixed me. Well, some things don't change. Ah, uh, so that was the promise between the between them. Apparently, everybody's getting marriage promises from Keitaro. I still don't think it's the, the child that we're. I don't think it's a big promise, though. I think it's another red heron.
Yeah, marrying a doll is usually a last resort. He's just so small and cute. Kiss? No. Didn't quite get there. Uh. Well then. <laughs> well, it's one way to cheer the audience up. Did you wear a swimsuit in there? I thought I saw some light straps. That may have been just, may have been the lighting. I don't know. A picture. Don't worry, you will always be part of our family, Moe. I'll never forget you. So that was the 20th episode of Love Hina. And this episode, we apparently took a step back into the past because it's apparently a doll that's been around for quite a while to the point where it is it need, it's in need of repair. Kitaro ends up coming across it because, well, it's mostly because you had Sara and Sue kind of going on a weird adventure together, exploring all over the place, and then just kind of fell to it. So I know, I guess that's, I guess that's one way to find it. But anyway, they did find it. And he pretty much, he bonded with Adele pretty, pretty quickly. I don't think he remembers meeting her as a child and their childhood promise and all that. He has a different childhood promise that he remembers much. That uh, takes on, takes a bigger priority than the inanimate object one, which certainly makes sense. Uh, it's just great seeing Mutsume continue to be involved with things. I, I do enjoy her. And she, Keitaro, and the Moe all pretty much playing house together. That was all, that was pretty fun to watch. Uh, Naru was, didn't seem to be as big into it, really as them, but she was still kind of, you know, around for it. And some people were not not too supportive of them playing house and they're supposed to be getting ready for their exams and that is kinda of how the episode started with them getting ready for that. And pretty much learning that Mutsumi she doesn't fail because she's stupid or doesn't study. She's just she's clumsy. She's a klutz. That's pretty much why she fails as much as he does. But yeah, we found out that Kitaro's not the only K family member to interact with Moe also Keisuke is great grandfather did as well, but kinda of forgot about her. And they were thinking, hey, maybe the doll is mistaking Keitaro for his grandfather, but I don't think that was completely the case, because, like, cause she was she was showing Naru, she did meet Keitaro as a child, so I'm sure she knows who it was. Because uh, Keikun could obviously go for both of them, so I guess it's a little bit ambiguous in that regard. But yeah, I really liked Moe. I thought she was one of the best characters. I really enjoyed the time we had with her. And I think it's kind of a shame that the episode ended off with us just kind of putting her away. Because I doubt she'll ever come back in the series. That's probably the one and only episode she'll ever really get screen time in. But at least we got a photo of everyone together. That was that was pretty nice. And that was pretty much the episode. Uh, so I, so I just want to reiterate that how much that, that doll was absolutely adorable and I want one. Thank you for watching. And thank you Snokey, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.